Welcome to another interview with a Florida legislator on the Film Florida podcast. My name is John Lux, and I'm the executive director of Film Florida. Thanks for downloading this episode of the podcast. Today, our guest is Republican State Representative James Buchanan from Sarasota. Representative Buchanan is a native of Michigan, but graduated from Florida State University and earned his MBA from the University of South Florida. Representative Buchanan is a strong supporter of the film, television, and digital media industry in Florida. We talked to him about his time in the Florida State Seminoles football program, his support for the industry, and more. Before we talk to Representative Buchanan, please remember to subscribe, rate, and review the Film Florida podcast. If you're not already a member of Film Florida, please consider joining at filmflorida.org. Finally, we have a Film Florida merchandise page. Check it out at teespring.com slash stores slash Film Florida to purchase Film Florida t-shirts, sweatshirts, coffee mugs, and now protective masks as well. Here's my conversation with Florida State Representative James Buchanan. Thanks for joining us on the Film Florida podcast, Representative. It's great to be here with you. So what's your origin story? Help our audience get to know you a little bit. Yeah, so I'm actually originally from Michigan. My family, we moved here when I was a young kid uh, to, to actually Tampa. Uh, so fishing, diving, uh, spending time on the water. That's always something I really enjoyed. And as I got older, I volunteered a lot of my time. But you were a big time high school football player, correct? Yeah, I, I grew up playing all kinds of sports, but I found my love actually in high school football ended up being the sport uh, that I seemed to be best at. And I must have been pretty good. Um, Bobby Bowden ended up coming down to our school a couple of times to visit me and everyone was blown away by that. But you know, an opportunity to go and play under a, a living legend like Bobby Bowden was something I couldn't turn down. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity. And there's so many life lessons you take away from an experience like that. Well, and you had some uh, a medical setback in your time up at FSU. Tell us about your football career and how that all went down. When I began playing football in high school, I was an offensive lineman. And uh, one day the, the fullback broke his arm and I was the only one that raised my hand that was willing to try it. So I was the number one recruited fullback in the country and ended up going to Florida State University of which I ended up having um, a number of setbacks as it relates to my shoulder, I had uh, three shoulder surgeries. And eventually I ended up becoming medically disqualified, but I, I remained engaged with the team and. Obviously, I'm a big fan now. Representative, I played sports my entire life growing up. And on top of it being such a great activity, there are so many life lessons that I took away from that that helped me now in the rest of my life. Dealing with the, the medical setback and the, the football part of it uh, at Florida State, what did that teach you that you have taken away for the rest of your life? Yeah, so I'll tell you, in football, especially the opportunity to play under Bobby Bowden, you know, teamwork is a very important aspect in football as in life, but you also, it teaches you about hard work. And um, that's something that's always stuck with me. My, my dad always told me growing up, you know, 90% of life is showing up and that's something I have always done. And now you mentioned your dad, but for those that don't know you very well, you come from really strong Florida political genes. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, actually, it's a kind of a funny story. My, my dad really wasn't in politics when I was a kid. Uh, this was something that happened later in life. He came from a blue collar family, one of six, uh, was able to achieve the, the American dream. He always said, if you work hard, play by the rules, anything's possible in this great country. And, and that's what he did. And he decided at a, a later point in life that he, he wanted to come back and serve his community. And um, so he serves as a member of Congress. And how did that kind of mold you into uh, leading into life as a, a, a legislator? Yeah, so, you know, I had always, I think it's, it's something you gotta, you gotta have a love in, in working and helping people. Growing up, I was always involved in the community. We did a number of mission trips when I was a, a kid and um, even beyond. So giving back was always something that was an important part of my life. And I, I think that's 
that's one of the major reasons, but he's been a great mentor to me. And as I mentioned in the intro, Representative, you're a strong supporter of the film, television, and digital media industry here in Florida. In fact, you sponsored a piece of legislation on behalf of the industry the last two legislative sessions. In your words, why do you support the industry so strongly? When you look at Florida's economy, we need to continue to diversify. You know, Florida used to be considered the Hollywood of the, the East. And, um, you know, I think uh, the opportunity is coming where we can bring the fil film industry back to Florida. You're exactly right, Representative, and that's one of our main messages right now as an industry and an organization. Our industry can and should be a part of Florida's economic recovery moving forward, continuing to diversify the state's economy while supporting high-wage, high-tech jobs. And for those that don't know, uh, being a state legislator in Florida technically is a part-time job, which, as, as we all know, isn't really realistic. But you mentioned your, your job in real estate. Tell us a little bit about how you got involved in that and, and you know, a little bit more about your, your company. You're 100% right. It's definitely not a part-time job. Um, you spend right. a lot more time. You can ask Chris and Lindsay. Uh, it's more of a full-time job than anything else. But um, coming out of school, I actually was a couple classes short of a, a minor uh, in real estate. So I had always had an interest in real estate. The first slide on the, I still remember it at Florida State University, the first slide on the first real estate class I took uh, the teacher put up two thirds of the world's wealth has been accrued through real estate. And so that was something that always kind of stuck with me. And what's beautiful about real estate and it makes it so much different than the stock market or anything else is every property is different and unique. And, you know, that was something that, that always fascinated me. Um, I enjoy the commercial side. I'm a little bit more of a, a numbers person, but the residential side is, is something actually here locally that's even in the midst of this pandemic, it's been pretty strong. Well, my dad was uh, a commercial real estate appraiser when I was growing up. Right. So, yeah, so I, I feel like I had I got a minor in in real estate growing up, and you know, going I'm sure. out. I remember. Uh, I mean, this is you know, thirty years ago, thirty, you know, and going out with him as he was doing appraisals, and and you're in the car in the Chicago area for two, three hours at a time, going from property to property, and so I feel like uh, I was one of his students. You know, I kind of learned the whole process as as it all went along. So. Yeah. Well, I feel a little bit that way. My family, we had, we're in the automotive industry and I feel a little bit that way. Uh, I know probably more than I should about that industry because of, uh, because of, you know, the involvement our families had in that, that industry. So I, I hear you. Is a representative outside of being a legislator and, and doing your, your quote unquote full-time job. Um, what do you do for fun? What are your hobbies or personal passions? So I, my wife and I have two beautiful little girls, uh, Lexington and Caroline. So I spent a lot of time, uh, family time together. They're, they're both pretty young, nine months, and, um, and the other one is three years old. So that takes a lot of my time when I'm not doing my other two jobs. But I do enjoy, fishing's always been a passion of mine, being on the water. It's been a while, but I, love, I also love scuba diving. Nice, nice. So, uh, you know, we talk a little bit about your support for our industry and, and many listening obviously want to see a bill passed that would attract more projects here to the state of Florida so we can compete with other states. What's your advice to those people when, you know, they ask, like, how can I get involved? How can I get engaged in the process to add meaningful value to the effort? What, what's your advice to them? I'd encourage folks, just like any other piece of legislation, something that's important to you, like what we're talking about here today, it's important that you reach out uh, to your legislator, wh whoever represents you, your area, you should reach out and, and let them know, call them, email them, they'll respond to you uh, and let them know what's, what's important to you. And this is something that they should certainly reach out to their legislator. And in a typical year, an off COVID year, I'd suggest come up to Tallahassee, but the, it's gonna look a little bit different this year. And now, you know, you and I have spoken even before this interview we did, we had a meeting a, a month or two ago uh, on Zoom. Are, are you doing a lot of that type of meetings this year and, and phone calls in lieu of having people come to the office? My, this is my third one today. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it's, um, it's not even 10 o'clock yet. So, um, yes, we are doing a lot of, a lot of digital and um, 
I'm not always the best when it comes to technology. I'm, I'm technically a millennial, but I always associate it probably with the generation before it. I love a phone call um, or in person. You know, that's what I enjoy most, but uh, I'm getting used to it. It seems like we've all had to get used to things a little bit differently the last year or so. So, um, uh, so Representative, I, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule today. I know how busy you are uh, with committee weeks and, and legislative session coming up. Thanks for being on the Film Florida podcast and, of course, for your continued support of our industry. Thank you, John. It's a pleasure to be with you and um, we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Film Florida podcast. For more information about Film Florida, go to filmflorida.org or visit our social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Check out the Film Florida merchandise at teespring.com slash stores slash Film Florida. And please remember to subscribe, rate, and review the podcast.